the Bank of Canada cuts interest rates, why don't you see those interest rate cuts on your mortgage? Hey there, welcome back to Ball Prairie Real Estate. My name is Matthew Pfeiffer, real estate agent in Regina. That's my trust assistant, Matilda. In this video, we're going to answer a great question from a viewer. The question is, could you do a video explaining why fixed rates have bottomed out in September? Not all of us are comfortable with variables. I thought this was an awesome question. And if you have something you don't understand about buying a house in Canada, interest rates, everything else, put it in the comments below so I can make a future video about it. But of course, we gotta start off with another one of my terrible bad dad jokes before I answer this question. What do you call a detective that solves cases by accident? Sheer luck Holmes. If you have a terrible joke I can use in a future episode, put it in the comments below, let's get answering this question. First off, we gotta do a quick refresher on the two types of mortgage interest rates in Canada. First, you have fixed interest rates. Those are interest rates where for the entire term of your mortgage, one year all the way through 10 years, your payment does not change as well as your interest rate. And this is something that about 75% of Canadians will typically take, but usually fixed interest rates are a little bit higher than variable rates. You pay for that payment security. Next, you have variable rate mortgages, and there's actually two types. The first is an adjustable rate mortgage. That means that every single time the Bank of Canada adjusts rates up or down, that monthly mortgage payment will also go up or down. Then you have what is called static variable or sometimes fixed payment variable mortgages. That means that your payment is fixed, so $1,000 a month, and no matter what happens with interest rates, that payment doesn't increase or decrease. But what happens is the amount of payment that goes towards principal versus interest changes. So again, $1,000 a month mortgage, $500 goes to principal, $500 goes to interest. The Bank of Canada increases interest rates. Now it's $600 a month goes to interest and only $400 goes to principal. But this also works in reverse when the Bank of Canada starts dropping interest rates. Fast pause here. You're ready to buy a house, but you don't have a great real estate agent. Don't worry, I can handpick one for you from my great network of agents anywhere in the country. If you look in the description of this video, there's a link in my calendar where you can book me for an agent consultation and I'm gonna find you the perfect agent. But what determines what that interest rate is? Well, of course, when it comes to variable rates, what happens to the Bank of Canada? But when it comes to fixed rates, it's what happens in the bond market. Now let's answer that original question. Why is it that fixed rates seem to bottom out in September while the Bank of Canada is cutting interest rates? The simple answer is the bond market has already cut interest rates in anticipation of the Bank of Canada cutting interest rates in 2024. If you look at this chart here, one year ago, you can see that the five-year bond rate was about 4.25%. It dropped through 2023, and then it jumped up a little bit in the early spring of 2024 and started falling from there. Now, today, we see that that five-year rate is approximately 2.5 to 3%. 3% the recording of this video, which is about a 1.25 to 1.75% drop. And we have seen fixed rate mortgages go from roughly 6% a year ago to roughly 4.5 and a little bit under today. The bond market is a little bit like gambling, depending what the Bank of Canada is going to do in the future. The expectation was rates would come down, so we saw that reflected in the bond market. And by the time 2024 is over, the Bank of Canada will likely have cut interest rates by approximately 2%, meaning that variable rates will essentially have caught up to what happened already in the market when it comes to fixed rates. Why is it though that fixed rates seem to have bottomed out? The short answer is that the bond market has already priced in all of the expected Bank of Canada cuts for 2024. But most banks and economists are expecting the Bank of Canada to continue to cut interest rates in 2025. And as of now, the bond market has not priced in those cuts yet. Even still, usually the spread from the five-year bond is one to one and a half percent. And with five-year fixed rates at the kind of mid end of that range, there's likely a little bit of movement down that could still happen. Generally, banks get a little bit more aggressive in the spring real estate market. So anticipate even that the bond rate doesn't change at all between now and the spring market, there's probably a little bit of movement down that could still happen. Each week when I do my weekly news recap, I go through the best mortgage interest rates I could find for that week. So if you aren't subscribed, this is a good time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those videos and miss out on a great interest rate. So right now, fixed rates seem to be kind of flat, and that's generally what happens at the end of the year. I would expect, even if nothing changes with the bond market, that we might see a little bit of downward movement on fixed rates as banks get more aggressive in the spring market. Who have forged the path to this very special day. But I have to think at some point, the bond market starts pricing in the expected 2025 Bank of Canada rate cuts that pretty much every bank economist thinks is going to happen. If you want forward insight as to where fixed rates are going, watch that five-year Canada bond rate. If you see it trending down, 
expect fixed rates will also go down with that. If you see it trending up, well then rates are probably on the way back up again. If you have a question you'd like me to answer in a video, let me know what that is in the comments below. I would love to do that for you. If you like this video, please give this video a like, subscribe to all for your real estate if you haven't already. And as always, thanks very much for watching.